So people, we have new details on the forthcoming expansions for Borderlands 3. Featuring the designer's cut and the director's cut, today we check out all the brand new details. How's it going guys, my name's DPG and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So recently just dropped on Twitter by Gearbox, we have news for the forthcoming DLCs for Borderlands 3 with Season Pass 2. So let's get into everything they state. More mayhem comes to Borderlands 3 in Season Pass 2, featuring the designer's cut and the director's cut. Get ready to make all kinds of mayhem with Borderlands 3's new Season Pass 2, which will feature two more add-ons unlike anything we've done before. This new season will include the designer's cut and the director's cut DLCs, which each offer new modes and ways to play. A copy of Borderlands 3 is required to play the content in Season Pass 2, which will be available for purchase on November 10th, starting with the designer's cut. The second half of Season Pass 2 Director's Cut is planned to release in Spring 2021 and we'll have more details to share closer to launch. In the Director's Cut launching on November 10th for all platforms, you'll get an additional skill tree for each Vault Hunter and a brand new game mode called Arms Race. We'll be diving deeper into these features in the coming weeks with some big reveals planned. On October 20th, 9am PT, Amara and Flax new skill tree reveals with live streams and a special episode of Ultimate Vault Hunters. October 22nd, 9am PT, Moz and Zane's new skill trees reveals with live streams and a special episode of Ultimate Vault Hunters. October 29th, 9am PT, the Borderlands show premieres featuring the new arms race mode and much more. On October 30th, 9am PT, the Borderlands debuts the first live hands-on of arms race gameplay which is going to be amazing people. So more details on what's planned for these reviews. Starting 9am PT on October 20th, see Amaru and Flex new skill trees in action over on the official Borderlands Twitch channel as members of the Borderlands creator team showcase a fresh suit of powerful action skills and passive skills. A week later at 9am PT on October 22nd, we see the exact same for Moles and Zane. And the state if you cannot make the streams will reveal the new skill trees in their entirety over on the characters pages for Amara, the Siren, Flak, the Beastmaster, Moles, the Gunner and Zane the Operative. So you can start creating those killer builds. On October 29th, a special episode of the Borderlands show will premiere at 9am PT on the Borderlands Twitch channel showcasing everything you need to know about the new arms race mode. With regular hosts Greg and Fran from Kindly Funny, we'll be joined by special guests to discuss all the added mayhem in the designer's cut. And then on October 30th at 9am PT on the Borderlands Twitch channel, we'll have an episode dedicated to the arms race, including the first ever live hands-on gameplay. And they also state they're saving the director's cut details for another day, but rest assured it will be bursting with new level mayhem as Borderlands 3 continues its second year. So it sounds good people, it really does. Now if you do want to read through the entire post, you'll find it linked below guys. But yes, it's been confirmed, there will be a season pass 2 for Borderlands 3. And it seems it will be two DLCs with the designer's cut and the director's cut. But yeah guys, if any more details do drop, obviously I will have you covered right here on my channel with all that new information. But let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. Me personally, I cannot wait to see Zane's new action skill in action. And I also cannot wait to see what Arms Race is. But there's also going to be a new mode as they state. We're getting new modes with both the designer's and director's cuts. So that should be cool too. But yeah guys, let me know what you think about this down below in that comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did leave a like, it really helps out. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.